So in this video, I want to talk about, you know, identifying a molecule and how many chiral centers are present. Remember we defined, you know, a mo not a molecule, but how many chiral centers are present. Remember we defined the atom, you know, if an atom is chiral, we say it have uh, four different things, okay? Four different things, four different things bonded to it. And that, that's how I like to think of it, four different things, okay? Bonded to it, okay? So looking at this molecule here, how many chiral centers are present, okay? Well, I look at four different things. So this carbon, let's say this carbon, this carbon has two hydrogens bonded to it. So we have two of the same thing, that, that's not chiral. This carbon, well look, we have an OH, we have this, you know, this this CH two OH that's bonded to it. We also have a hydrogen here that's bonded to it, and we have this whole thing. That's what I usually call, it, or this whole other group bonded to it. So therefore, this is chiral. Okay. Now, what about this one? Same goes for this. This carbon here has an OH. It has this whole other thing bonded to it. It has this whole other thing bonded to it, and it has a hydrogen. So this is also another chiral center. And how we represent chiral centers, we just put a star. You know, that's how they usually signify that it's a chiral center. Okay. And uh, that would be it. Okay. This carbon. Okay. Well, we have a double bond. So that's not even free rotation. So we can't have a chiral center. This carbon has three hydrogen, the same thing around it. Um, uh, so that's not chiral. So these are the only chiral centers that are present. Okay, these are the only chiral centers that are present. And how many enantiomers we could draw off the compound? Well, the number of enantiomers is just two to the n, where n is the number of chiral centers. Okay, so in this case, two to the two is just four, so we could actually draw four enantiomers of this compound. Now, what about this one? Uh, for you guys' this info, this is Tamiflu, okay? Antiviral drugs, yeah, we don't want to catch the flu, so we use some Tamiflu. So this is what you're actually putting in your body, okay? So how many chiral centers are present? We're trying to amp up the difficulty a little bit. Okay, well, if I look at this carbon, okay, I have, uh, I'm trying to get this focus right. Yeah, so if I look at this carbon, okay, if I look at this carbon, I have two methyl groups that bonded to it, so that's not chiral okay what about this one well we have this whole group that's going away we have this other side that's different we have this other side that's different and we have a hydrogen that's coming out so this is a chiral center okay now again we cannot get a chiral center, uh, chiral, it has to have free rotation. So we have double bond, so we're gonna ignore those atoms, okay? These cannot be chiral because of the double bond, restricted rotation. Okay, now what about this one, this carbon here? Well, I have this whole thing that's bonded to it. I have this whole other side that's bonded to it. I have this whole other side that's bonded to it, and I have a hydrogen, so four different things. So therefore, this must has to be a chiral center. Okay, and what about this? Well, we have this group out here. We have a hydrogen. We have this whole group here, and we have this whole group there. Okay, so this must be a chiral center of four different things. Okay, now again, we have two hydrogens, three hydrogens on the same thing. Can cannot be chiral. Uh, this double bond uh, not free rotation so this can be chiral double bond cannot be chiral here we have two hydrogens okay here we have two hydrogens so this cannot be chiral the nitrogen here has a hydrogen and it has three things bonded to it well remember in order for it to be chiral it has to have four and and, and these carbons definitely are here not chiral restricted rotation and we have three ch3s okay so in fact we have uh uh, three chiral centers present, okay? And the number of enantiomers is just two to the n, where n is the number of chiral centers. So this is just two to the third power, and we could draw eight enantiomers with this compound, okay? Now, something I wanna point out here. I keep saying carbon, carbon, carbon. Well, it's usually the atom we define as being ch chiral, but notice I, I took into account the nitrogen, and I did that on purpose, because I wanna show you that it's not only carbons that we look at and say, okay, well, this is chiral. We also look at other 
atoms also. So just be very careful. But usually the consensus is usually carbon. Okay. Now what about this? Okay. This is official projection, but okay, that's fine. We're gonna sort it out. Okay, now this for your info, this is actually D plus uh, yeah, this should be a dash of D plus glucose. Yeah, so this is glucose, okay. Oh, I did not, you guys did not see it. So this is glucose, okay. And ignore this patch here, I just made a mistake. So that's glucose, okay. And how many enantiomers, well, not how many enantiomers, but how many chiral centers are present, okay. Well, this cannot be a chiral center. We have no free restrict, we have no free rotation, we have double bonds, so we don't care about that. Now, what about this carbon here, okay. Remember Fisher projections? Okay, this carbon here has an OH, it has an H, it has this whole group down here, and it has that here. So this is a chiral center. Okay, that is a chiral center. Now the same thing goes with this. Okay, we have a hydrogen, we have an hydroxyl, we have this whole group up here, we have this whole group down here. So this must be chiral centers, chiral center. Mm -hmm. That's the same thing for this carbon here. We have a hydroxyl group, an OH. Uh, now we have this whole thing or group up here. We have this whole group down here. So this must be Carl Center also. And the same thing for, same thing goes for this. We have an OH. We have an um, hydrogen. We have this a CH two OH group here, and we have this whole other group on top. So this has to be Carl Center. Now this carbon cannot be Carl again because we have two hydrogen. That's um. Um, that's bonded to it, okay? And these are the only chiral centers in the molecule, so therefore, we have four chiral center present. The number of enantiomers is just two to the end, where N is the number of chiral centers, okay? And we just say this is two to the four, so you know what? We could get 16 enantiomers of glucose, the most abundant um, sugar, uh, okay, on, on planet Earth. So again, this is how we we... we, we we look at chiral centers.